Hey folks, I'm here solo, you know, flying solo, doing my first ever DVD review. Well, normally I talk about movies, but now I'm just, I'm reviewing a DVD from Camp Motion Pictures. I'm reviewing Tim Redder's Killing Spree on DVD, like November 16th. You're done, dude. You wanna go out and slip some early ways, dude? The waves out here are really fucking gnarly. No, I'm not interested in surfing waves. Get out of here. Fine, man. Don't have a cow. If you're not interested, I'll just bounce. Well, back to the movie. And I made some notes to discuss it. Well, basically the movie's about a scruffly man in his 30s or 40s who marries a young knockout. And... He, well, he suffered a bad romance before. His old wife cheated on him and almost drove him crazy. And he's worried that his new wife is doing the same. And he has a really old best friend. He could do better. His best friend's about 70. And he likes young girls. He has a girlfriend that's 18 years old. And... Well, the, basically the idea is his wife is stay at home because he doesn't, he's, he's like, um, I don't want you leaving the house. And it sh should be that way. So, he does all the jobs. He works for a plane company, you know, cleaning and polishing planes. People do that. And, um, well, one day he comes home and finds a diary and he reads it. And it's erotic journals about things that his wife has done with other men. You know, the TV repair man, the lawnmower man, things like that. And when he reads that book, the light becomes purple, he goes crazy. And there's even a scene when he goes to a random beach, beats up random people, almost drowns a guy in the water, and then from that day on, he's crazy. And anything that he reads in that book, he goes out and kills those people. And, you know, there's some twists. I'm not going to tell you because I'm not a spoiler. There's some turns. There's some zombies. There's a lot of gore effects. And there's some great cheesy 80s music. Done on a Casio keyboard, probably. And probably a $20 one. Not an expensive one. But I like it. It's the kind of music we did in Lust for Blood. And, um, well, if you like other camp motion pictures films, that are shot on video, and I believe this is shot on video, probably beta, I don't know. I don't think VHS, I'm not sure. If the filmmakers see this video, they can tell me, because I didn't watch the commentaries yet, and I didn't watch the features. I'm sorry, I should have. I'm busy. I don't know what I was doing, though, because I don't have much to do with myself. And, um, hmm. <clears throat> What else did I say that I needed to say? Hmm. Well, it has features. It has, um, three documentaries. Old ones. Um, two commentaries. One with Mr. Ritters. And then some of the cast. Basically, I'm just telling you, you should go out and buy it. You'll like it. Well, not current teens. Current teens won't like it. They go, Cheese, cheap and cheesy. But, you know, older people, they'll like it. And, um, later I'm gonna review another one. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Just, just. Damn it. Just go get it when it comes out. Okay? He wasn't trying to make a move on me. He was just telling me how much he pleased his girlfriend in bed. Get out of my house right now before I throw you out, you big ass. Big ass. It wasn't necessary for you to fly off the handle like that. I want this marriage to work. And I love you. Like, hey, babe, like, why don't we go back to my bachelor pad, you know? Wow, that sounds great. So, Mr. Electrician, how would you like to fix my wiring?
If you're not in any hurry, we could uh, lighten up this afternoon with some real action. Three in one day! That bitch! It's not her fault! Sick men who have to be stopped from ruining my wife! <laughs> I heard you're not into some devil cult bullcrap, are you? That's not allowed in my neighborhood. 